my name is James Bruton and this week I'm going to show you how I made this guitar out of a barcode scanner and parts from arcade machines. So that's the main structure for the instrument. Obviously we've got four necks and a hole here to put electronics and control. I'm gonna use four bits of this PVC angle material that I found in a DIY store on each of these to mount the barcodes on. And of course we'll scan those with a barcode scanner. I use double-sided foam tape with quite a strong holding force to attach those bits of PVC to all of the sticks. And then I set about designing the electronics. And I'm theming this up with retro arcade items. So I've got a classic arcade joystick with micro switches in which is going to operate various functions including MIDI channel selection and octave shift. We've also got one of these spinners with a nice heavy weight on which I'm going to use for pitch shift. And that's just an encoder on the back we can read into an Arduino. Next up is a classic set of arcade switches with micro switches in the back and that's going to go further up the neck to operate different functions with your left hand. And of course everything is attached to the 2020 extrusion with drop-in T-nuts and M4 bolts. In the gap that's left I fitted a box which has an Arduino in it with some shields on. We've got a USB host shield to plug in the USB barcode scanner and also a MIDI shield which allows us to transmit the data as MIDI notes to an external synth. I used the USB host shield library and some code I found in the Arduino forums to make the barcode scanner produce some data. What I'm actually doing there is scanning ASCII characters, of course, for each of those barcodes. And each ASCII character in the ASCII character set has an integer associated with it, 0 to 127 for normal characters, and an extended set up to 255. So instead of reading a character, I'm reading an integer, and that just gives me a number. And I can translate that directly to MIDI notes, which range from 0 to 127. <laughs> That basic functionality seems to work so now it's time to wire in all of the switches to the Arduino which means running wires down channels I built into the 3D prints. After that we can test out the encoder which I wired up and it appears to work okay to shift the pitch of the note that I'm playing. I use some 3M double sided adhesive to stick to all of the boards where I need to mount my barcodes. And after some careful measuring and cutting, I printed out all the barcodes for all of the notes and stuck them onto the fretboard. Now I had to miss out some gaps because my barcode 39 scanner won't scan all the special characters we need for the ASCII character set, but I compensated for that in software. So now the main build's complete, it's time for a bit of a demo. So I've got my barcode scanner, of course, which I can scan the barcodes with. And that's pretty easy to do, to pinpoint individual notes. I've got my octave shift, which is this joystick this way. Shifts down and up, shifts up. And you'll notice the note keeps playing until you scan a new note and then it ceases the previous note. And as it is, it's plugged into a monosynth called a Novation Base Station that only can play one note at a time. I've got the single player button which kills all the notes. And that means it can stop all the notes that are playing. Now if we were to play on a polysynth, the Korg X5D that's down there is on channel 2, so if I click my joystick upwards it goes up a MIDI channel, that is a polysynth. So we've got a different instrument there, but in order to play multiple notes at a time, I press the multiplayer button. And then I can play chords, and if I press the single player button, of course it stops all the notes. And of course I can play multiple instruments at a time by setting off some chords on this one. Shifting back down, shifting up an octave, say. 
and playing some other notes. And we've still got pitch bends that will affect each channel independently. And we can stop all the notes. If I shift up to channel 10, that's basically the third channel. And that's plugged into a drum synth. And again, the octave shift will allow different notes to be played. I've also got another feature because it's quite hard actually to play a really intricate tune just with barcodes. I've got three other buttons which are programmable now by default. They're programmed for the E, A and D strings. But if I press and hold them and scan at the same time, they become a different note. So that's most of the main functionality. Of course, it's gonna be quite hard to actually play a tune on this. So we're gonna use a MIDI step sequencer to help us.
that was just improvisation. Imagine how dangerous it would be if I actually wrote music for it. And I'm going to be linking that into the show with my performance robots. And for those of you who've been watching the series, you'll know they're driven by DMX, which is actually a lighting protocol. But that DMX software I'm going to be using in future episodes allows MIDI input. So I can control it from a MIDI control surface, or I can control it from my barcode scanner guitar. And that means I can set off lighting chases, or in this case, movement chases and lighting in the face of the robot, trigger sound effects, as well as play music. So that's going to become one big integrated piece. If you like music projects, you should check out some of my other projects, including the laser scanner graphic EQ visualizer I made, my Henry Hoover pipe organ playing Africa by Toto, and of course the video I did with Sam from Look Mum Low Computer where we made a robot breathe fire while we played music, and all sorts of other interfaces from his synth rack. Robots, we are robots, we are robots, how did you do? Just a quick ad for my Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel, I have Patreon and also have YouTube channel membership. So have a look at patreon.com slash xrobots or the links in the description below. And also have a Teespring store where you can get pictures of my robots on t-shirts and bags and socks and various other merchandise. All right, that's all for now.